Here we have Auburn's solid state voltage regulator, 25 amp, without a heat sink setup. We have the rheostat wired into the solid state voltage regulator. And here we have 120 volts coming from the wall, which is powered up. And that you can see is split into two, one coming into the voltage regulator and the other two hooked up to the light connection. As I turn the dial clockwise, which is the way I've wired it to decrease the resistance, when I get to a certain point, the voltage is such that the filament lights up. You can't really tell in the video, but that's pretty dim. And as I continue to turn clockwise, it allows more voltage to pass. The resistance therefore decreases, allowing that to happen. And I get all the way up, and if I had a, as I max it out, if I had a multimeter hooked up measuring resistance, I would now have zero resistance in the circuit through the rheostat, which allows the most voltage going to the bulb. And that's how it works. And as I turn counterclockwise all the way back down, zero. And now there's maximum resistance in the circuit and therefore no voltage is allowed to pass to the light.